Melt a melt a butter. <laughs> we are melt in the butter. kitchen with Rick Croslin, who we are usually doing a science experiment with. But hey, science meets food today. That's right. And, and, right and cooking is science. That's right. Well, you know, I love science, but my family, all my family are great cooks. My daughter studying in France, my other daughter, oh, wow. my wife, my son in law, they, he, you know, does brisket. But so I always say that we have dinner at our house, I say two things. I eat like a king, and we are so rich. <laughs> so I kind of had to come up with something. Yeah, you need your thing. I know, your because thing. I can't just be a consumer. This is what's called Bananas Foster. Ah, are we going to blow this up? Well, at the end. <laughs> okay. And so I've got uh, the recipe. Uh, we'll have, this is like I got half a stick of butter. So that's brown sugar and brown butter. Brown sugar. Adding a little cinnamon. A little cinnamon. Now, my wife told me to stick to the recipe. Oh, because, are you going to obey? Yes, because... <laughs> um, I don't do much cooking, and but yeah. uh, this is one. If you have a lot of people over, just do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And so you, now we're you, the brown sugar is starting to caramelize. Now the science of caramelization is is pretty complex, but what it basically does it melts the sugar at a certain temperature, and then it condenses it and it releases flavors. And it smells so really good. You get these nutty, butter, buttery flavors. Yeah. And let me turn this up a little bit. George, and this is when we need smell-o-vision so everybody <laughs> can it does, smell it, it at home. Yeah. Oh, I, and, I love the smell of mm -hmm. cinnamon and brown sugar. Oh, let me turn this down and let's get these uh, nature's Bananas. sunshine smile ready. Okay, nice. Uh, this particular banana is the Cavendish. In every banana you find in America, uh, this type is called yeah. a Cavendish. Uh, it's a clone. You'll not find, you know, most fruits are actually a byproduct of fertilization, pollen, and seeds. But these are cloned, and they're mass-produced, which is great, and they're sweet. So this is some banana liqueur, one-fourth a cup, and we'll start getting some more flavors in here. And we'll just... Ooh, listen to that sizzle. There we go. As they say on the TV, that's the sauce. <laughs> And do you throw the whole bananas in? Or? Well, we're going to have them. And you okay. want to start? Help me, George. That'd sure. Be great. We're going to have them and then uh, cut them in chunks. I want to get this going here. And you can see that caramelization happening here. And, uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, oh, when it comes to the bananas, yeah. I know that some of them have those darker spots. Is that no. what you want? No. Uh, you know what? That's interesting that you noticed that. I brought these on purpose because they're bruised. Yeah. And what happens is... Well, this, is it like banana bread? Because it's yeah. better to have those types of bananas. It starts to turn into another type of sugar when oh. they start to uh, turn brown. See, I wondered. And it's I'd intentional. Say, it, a banana will cause other food to ripen. There is a chemical that comes off these called ethan that. ethanol. And that's why these, when they're damaged, they start giving that. So if you want to ripen some fruit, put it in with a banana. I did not know that. And that's but why a lot of people, you know. they don't like to use them a lot of times in different fruit, fruit yeah. dishes because it turns the other fruit brown. Interesting, yeah. Okay, so George, not to complain, my wife said, <laughs> cut them lengthways first. Oh, <laughs> oh, way to go, okay. George. Oh, man. Mess it up there already. There you go. Yeah, and then bigger, bigger chunks, bigger chunks. Okay. There you go. Okay. Right. That's good. All, all right. right, so all the bananas go in the mixture, yep. and you just kind of stir it all up and kind of let it go for uh, a little you, while? You, you brown them, brown the brown bananas. Brown them. Mrs. Croslin, if you're watching, I'm the one that screwed <laughs> up the cutting up of the bananas. <laughs> and now we have some dark rum, and this is the fun part. George, hand me that lighter there. We're going to flambe it. Since flambe. I'm a science guy, we have to do that, too. There is a little bit of danger in this, so make sure that uh, you don't yeah. have your face over it. And all well, that yes. Stuff. Uh, I will scoop back. And uh, so you'll get that rum nice and hot. And that really is going to add. The more it cooks, it does take away a lot of the alcohol. Okay. And let's get it nice and warm, and let's see if we can get it going here. Ooh, there, there it goes. There we go. Now we're talking. Woohoo! I can see the flame pretty well there. Mm -hmm. So how long does that go for? Rick? I like to burn it off and get the ice cream ready. Okay. Especially you know when the kids are here, you know we don't. But you got some nice fun day going here. And, uh, I got the ice cream here. Got the ice cream. Yeah. You know, get us a couple scoops couple in that scoops bowl in right the there. Bowl, ice cream. Um, Amber, you know. I know my science. I think you're going to be impressed with this, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you be the judge. I won't do the talking. I'll well, this can certainly be your go-to and maybe somebody else's at home's go-to nowadays. And it's nice and hot on the bottom. George, you ready for yours? Yes, I am. What do you think? Well, it looks delicious. A little banana, a little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh, that's really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. A little bit of dessert. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot of dessert. I got you an extra brown brown one with a little bit of the sauce Fantastic. over it. Fantastic. There you go. All right. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah. Science meets food. Science meets food. So there food. you go.
it's an art, but mm. there's a lot of mm. science involved. Isn't that good? This is very good. And the, the rum really adds a nice um, nice flavor yeah. to it. Yeah. That's delicious. Rick, a pleasure as always, yep. man. Thank you so much. I think this is going to be a hit with your family and friends. What this do you say? A, this is an ideal breakfast. And I think your wife would be proud. Okay, good. <laughs> you hear that, Brenda? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brenda. Brenda Foster, Rick Roslin. Thank you so much, ma'am.